Hello lesser minds. Welcome to a game played between me and me. Everyone complains to me that the bomb cloud isn't a good idea, that is why I will prove it to you, beyond reasonable doubt that the bomb cloud is a superior opening, or not. Before watching this game you have to keep in mind that, although the bomb cloud is a, great, idea, it's much harder to prove an advantage, so, if I make any slight inaccuracy, things will go wrong very quickly. So without further ado, I have the white pieces, and the black pieces either, so let's start this game. Here it is, the, bog cloud is on the board, king to e2, against the Karo can I decided. The only problem with this move is that against me, it's really hard to prove an advantage, really hard. I will take this pawn to open up the position, this is a great idea, but I hate to lose so much, that I don't want to lose, not even to myself. I'll now play the simple bishop to e7, I don't want to damn it by pawn structure. To be honest, I think I have already a winning position, something went wrong with my superior bomb cloud opening. Only I, the dark fish, am allowed to play this kind of backwards move, do not this at home, I am not responsible for your actions, great move by me though, let's play h4, hoping to give up a pawn for a lot of reasons that you humans will never understand, but I really want to open the h file. b5, time to attack on the queen side with this crazy king to e2 idea by myself. c5, my position is so winning, that I will give up a pawn to open the b file, of course I will take the free pawn, or is it? As of right now, I believe I'm completely lost, and winning, since I'm playing against myself, my father says that the bong cloud is a dead draw with perfect play, hence, I am not playing perfectly, which makes me really sad. If you have noticed, the knight on d6 would be hanging without the pawn on e5, which means, there's tactics everywhere, I will take this free pawn, and material will be equal. If you see the position now, my rook is hanging, and my bishop is under attack, I really can't afford damaging my pawn structure, that is why, rook takes bishop is forced, if rook goes to e1, just bishop takes bishop, pawn takes bishop, d3, who cares about a pawn, right? Pawn takes pawn, queen to d4, queen to c2, and after a3, rook to b2 is coming, rook to b8, Queen takes f2, everything is an easy win for me, or even for you motels. So I decided playing down an exchange, I will gain a lot of pawns later though. Queen to h2 was a great move by me, realizing that the h pawn cannot be defended properly. Everything else could probably lead to a draw, maybe, when I am playing with myself, I can't be sure of anything.
If you at home believe that this is an easy win for black, let me show you what happens if you try to trade queens. Capablanca says that trading pieces is good when you are up material, oh machines god, how do I like to refute humans so much. All moves I play are poisoned, if queen to g5, pinning the queen, just queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and after rook to e5, attacking two pawns, white is better and it is black who has to defend the position. A3 is basically a death sentence for white, I'll have to play C4 at some point to avoid back rank checkmate tactics, and I will do it now. This is an end game, bringing the king closer to the center will become crucial. Humans are too focused on peace value, predetermined, by, yes, you mortals. This bishop is the only thing that keeps white alive, so I will trade it with my rook. If you can give a check, give it. Or don't. There is now only one winning move for black, you are free to pause the video, and different from Ugad Mata, I will not give a single second for you to think about it beside this sentence, and it is of course, queen to e2. I know it looks like an easy move, but I have to show you the danger of playing against me, everything else, that doesn't blunder a piece, would lead to a draw. Allow me or not to show an example. Let's say h takes g5, my second best move, just, queen to d6, attacking the pawn, rook to f3, defending, c5, g4, c6, you better not try to be funny and play, g3, that loses immediately, white's pawn promotes first, hence, it is best to repeat moves. Again, this is a poisoned pawn, there will be a perpetual if I take it. Humans, I am completely lost, and winning, in this position, but I would bet a lot of bitcoins that I would defeat you playing black or white in this position. It is a rook and four pawns, although the h pawn will fall, against a queen and a passed pawn, that it is unstoppable. Wherever white's king goes, I will fork the king and the rook, but be aware. Queen vs rook endgame is winning for the queen's side.
although depending on the position, it is not a trivial win, but in this case, I will fork the rook and the king in a few moves. This is checkmate, but does that mean that the bomb cloud is a bad opening? Of course not, it just shows that any small inaccuracy can cost you the entire game. I am still confident that this opening is winning for white. Or not. If you enjoyed this video or want more bomb cloud theory, consider checkmating that subscribe and like button, see you never. Or not.